In this walkthrough, we'll show what can be done with Synth 1's two low frequency oscillators. While Synth 1's two envelopes facilitate one shot control of the amp and filter cutoff over time, repetitive modulation is also on hand in the shape of a pair of LFOs, low frequency oscillators, i.e., controller oscillators that run at very slow speeds purely for the purpose of controlling other parameters. Using these, various of the synth's parameters can be wobbled at user specified speeds. Turn each LFO on and off with the 1 and 2 buttons. One of seven target parameters can be chosen for each LFO. OSC2 modulates the frequency or pitch of oscillator 2. OSC1-2 modulates the frequencies of both oscillators together. Filter, the filter cutoff, amp, the amplifier volume, PW, the width of the pulse wave on one or both oscillators, FM, the oscillator 1 FM amount, and PAN modulates the left-right PAN position of the final output. The waveforms generated by the LFOs can be switched between six shapes. Saw, triangle, square, sine, sample and hold and random. The first four are as straightforward as they appear, while the sample and hold and random shapes output random values. Sample and hold stepping abruptly from value to value. And random transitioning smoothly between them. These are generally used for effects rather than musical sounds. The rate of each LFO is controlled by the two speed knobs. The further clockwise they're turned, the faster the LFO cycles, from snail's pace slow to buzzingly fast, although unhelpfully the actual frequency isn't displayed by the pop-up sliders. The tempo buttons, when activated, sync their corresponding LFO to host tempo, with the speed control stepping between thankfully displayed note values. How heavily LFO modulation is applied to the target parameter is determined by the amount knobs. The key buttons enable re-triggering of each LFO, starting the waveform again from the beginning with each incoming MIDI note, thus ensuring that every note played sounds the same as far as LFO modulation is concerned. With keysync inactive, the LFOs run constantly and regularly regardless of MIDI input so each new note will catch the LFO at whatever stage in the wave it happens to be. While the sample and hold and random waveforms are great for burbling, retro, sci-fi style modulations, you can alternatively bring fake irregularity to your low frequency oscillations by pointing both LFOs at the same parameter, oscillator pitch say, but setting them to different unsynced speeds. The two separately freewheeling cycles will cross over and beat against each other in all sorts of interesting ways. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step 
and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android, and in print.